Hey all, today we're going to work on a pen Senator 112H or size 3 0 real. Uh, let's get the handle off. Now we can remove the side plate. Uh, let's start with the, the left side plate. The, the screws on this side are going to be shorter than the screws on the right side. So just be aware of that. like that and the base plate screws or the the uh, real stand screws are shorter than the post screws on this side Just remove this screw. And to remove the bearing, just unscrew it from here. There's a spring inside here that has a return when you put it back in. tongue does not come out and this spool here is a one-piece spool nothing to remove on it as you can see this reel has been uh, cleaned already all right so let's go ahead and remove the right side plate I like to keep these screws separate uh, from each side, the right side versus the left side, so it just doesn't get too confusing when I'm putting them back in. Uh, let's break down the real stand. Now we can remove this lever here by unscrewing this.
and then we have to remove this meter ring here to get the, uh, the main gear out. And we can also remove this side here. Sometimes they're harder than others. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get the guts out of here. All right, so we're going to do these screws here to remove the, uh, the bridge. I'm going to keep my hand over this one. but I always keep the hand over the back of it. But I know for this one, there's a spring inside, not... There's a coil spring, not a, a leaf spring. And I've lost it t twice already. So putting it back in will be a, a nice adventure. disengaged so that's good this out and you can also remove the bearing from this side by unscrewing this with a adjustable wrench but I'm gonna leave it in This reel I replaced a few things. Uh, the washer hair was worn, so I just replaced it with uh, I think this was a 660 pin washer. Uh, it was a, a really close size to it, and it works. So, if the washer doesn't, if you have a washer that doesn't fit, you can always um, cut it to shape it. And what you're looking for mainly is the inside diameter being the same as the sleeve but that was exactly the same size maybe a hair over of the uh, original washer washers come out like this This is how they look. All right, so to remove the sleeve, we're just going to pop out the pin that's sitting inside here. Like that. And off it comes. And that's how you break down a pin 112H. Come back in a sec and show you how to put it together. Okay, let's get started reassembling the reel. I'm gonna add some 
oil to these bearings so they can soak for a little bit. Alright, let's do the left side plate first. All right, let's grease the inside of these beauty rings so we can get them put back on. Then I'll grease this clicker here. as well as this tongue. Mm, that's a bit much. E. Then just set it on like this. It isn't that hard. It really isn't. I don't know why I'm making it seem difficult, but sometimes you get crazy on these things. I just screw this in. So let's get one side put on. I want to make sure you line the holes up. And you'll notice that the outside plate, it's slightly recessed inside here. And for the inner beauty ring, it's not recessed, it's flat. We're not going to put the bearing in yet. So it's lined up. Now we can get our posts and add some grease to them as well. I'm going to secure by uh, attaching one of the stands first. You can do that top one there. I'm sorry, one of the posts first. Now we can do the stand. there that looks good right there Let's get the other screw inside the stand here. Okay, I'm not going to tighten this down yet. I'm just going to leave everything kind of loose. Now we can get to the main gear.
boost this up a little bit. Now we can put our sleeve on and get our pin put in. should be good okay good so now we'll put our washer underneath that goes underneath the main gear first and I'm not gonna grease that up drop on our main gear and these drags don't need to be uh, greased so I'm just gonna stick them on like that Then we have a tension washer to go. Where is it? Here we go. Tension washer is going to face <coughs> the curved portion or it's going to curve downwards so if we're looking at it top down it'll be convex is that convex or concave uh, I don't know the goal is to make sure that the, the spring is raised up I'll see if I can show it to you it is raised up when you set it on there and I think I put it on wrong yeah I had it on right the first time it'll be raised up slightly if you can see that right uh, right there hope that helps Okay, so now we can do the right side plate portion of it. Same deal as the other one. <clears throat> we're going to grease up the uh, beater rings, but we're not going to put these on yet. Now let's go ahead and get this lever set in place. <clears throat> I'll grease this up. Get our spring and just put it inside the hole. And add a little bit of grease to the tip, this raised tip. Before I insert it, 
Okay, we're just gonna drop it inside the hole here. Now the spring is going to sit inside that groove right there. Just gonna get it set. What I'm doing is screwing this in so that I can set it. And one key thing to remember is not to force anything here. So if when you're trying to set this, it's not going on one way. You can always try it from this side, like that. For some of these screws, or sorry, these are uh, springs, you can set it by having the eccentric or sort of lever positioned over here and then curving it up. Or sometimes it's curved over here and you have to or it's positioned over here and you have to curve it up that way. Alright, so that's set in place. Now we can unscrew this and then flip this over. Uh, let's balance it first, excuse me. Balance it like that. And now we're going to add some grease to the edges here and inside here. Then we can just uh, screw that in. Now we can get our our jack and our yoke put in. All right, so we're just gonna <clears throat> excuse me. We're just gonna stick our pinion on. 
this can actually be done afterwards. Uh, I need to grease inside this hole as well because that's where the uh, the bearing will ride inside. So I'm going to add a little bit of grease right there. And that should transfer through. All right, so just get our yoke and place it on a spring this way where the curved end is facing the lever. Just rest it down like that. We take a yoke and just put this into free spool and just drop it on. Like that. All right. Now let's get the main gear in and then we'll add the dog as we go. All right, so to get this main gear, we're gonna push down on the yoke. Keep this angled so we can get this. Like so. Just gonna turn it part way until we get this over there. About right there should be good. Let's get our one of our fully threaded screws, put that through the bottom hole, insert our dog. Well, let's get this down a little bit more. Hold on. Hope I wasn't out of focus there. Hmm. Let's start over. Make sure this is set. Yeah, that looks good. On with the dog. And now we can stick our spring inside there. And if I didn't lose it, which I didn't. Now the way I put the spring in is I'll put the one end going against the dog. And then I'll hold on to it like this and push down with my thumb to get it set in place. And I'm going to keep my finger over this while I rotate it. So this might be a little tricky and hard for you to see. But I don't want it flying anywhere. And let's see if we got that set. It looks like we did. Mm, hope we do. No, it's tight. We may have missed it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna push this dog up because it's not seated properly. So I'm just gonna keep it in place here like this. And I'm just going to slightly raise this up while I push the dog up to try to get this gear to sit. screw it in place yeah we're in business so that's good now we'll take one of our not fully threaded screws and push it through the hole that has the springs in them and then we can secure that side
I think we moved it again. Yeah, we did. What I'm trying to do is avoid opening this thing back up. So put our other fully threaded screw up through the hole. Sorry about making that look as sorry about making it look <laughs> way more difficult than it needed to be, uh, but I didn't want to cut the video. <clears throat> kind of wanted to see that sometimes it's, you got to play with these things to get them to work or to get them to fit properly inside there. It's really that difficult, but okay. So let's go ahead and grease this spring here. Now we can set that down. So I'm going to grab the spool and grease here where it's going to sit inside the left side. And also here where it's going to sit inside the right side. and I'm going to stick this inside here, but I'm going to add some grease to the threading on this. So that when I stick this in, it's going to help add a barrier to water getting in there. Let's add our spring. We're not screwing this all the way, we're just getting it started. Right above there is good. And now we can grease these side, this side over here before we forget. And now we can drop our studs in. Let's get those secured. Okay, so now we can get our our beauty rings put on. We can just line them up with the holes. And for this side, we're just going to balance this lever here. <coughs> And just angle it over like that to get it to fit in place. All right, good. Now I put this in free spool, and we're going to get our spool put in, and then we're going to. 
get the right side plate put on. Don't forget the longer screws go through the posts and the short screws, the shorter screws go through the, into the uh, wheel stand. Okay, so now we can tighten everything down. good now we can stick on our handle and be finished with this reel first goes the sleeve I'm going to add a little more grease to this side here where the handle sits and inside where the screw goes Sleeve goes on. On with the tension knob. Now we can get our handle put on. screw that in like that and we are almost done So now we can tighten these things down. Get that put on. I like to add a little bit of oil here. Let's test it out. Free spool. Looks good. That looks good. In cages. Uh, I gotta put some oil on this knob.
Now let's test the drag out. Light drag. Really good drag on this. Ah, that hurt. Alright, so that's how you put together pin 112H. Uh, I'm glad you kind of see how things actually go sometimes when you put these reels together. It doesn't always go according to plan. You just got to make the adjustments or take your time and just work through it. Anyhow, if you guys like the videos, please subscribe. I've been told to ask to hit the notify button as well, which is like the little bell thing. Because uh, then you get to see when I post a new video. Anyhow, again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.